are you about to introduce iterative ways of work like Scrum? Or just want to reinforce the benefits of quick feedback loops? The ballpoint game is for you. It's also a great way to illustrate a concept such as flow or highlight the importance of communication and collaboration, but without your participants dozing off. The goal of a game is as one team get as many balls through the system as they possibly can in two minutes. And here's how you go about it. Round up the group in a big circle and talk them through the instructions, starting with the rules. They will run through a number of iterations, each one being two minute long. In between, they get one minute of retrospective. The ball needs to start and stop with the same person and has to travel through everyone in the team. It must also have airtime and not be passed to the person just next to them. If the ball is dropped, it's dead, doesn't count, can't play anymore. Keep the rules visible so you can point back to them should someone forget or just being cheeky <coughs> and they need to be reminded. Let the group know how many iterations you will run. Five tends to be a good number. Then give them a couple of minutes to discuss strategy and ask them how many balls do they think they will complete in the first iteration. Get your watch ready and count down the start. When the time is up, you write down how many balls actually got completed. Give them one minute to reflect on how it went and what they want to change for the next iteration. Ask for a new estimate, start the next iteration, and then you follow the same procedure of noting actuals and one minute of retrospective. Once you have completed all iterations, it's time for a debrief. Ask questions around working iteratively. What changes did we see happening between the iterations? What was different from the first one compared to the last? How important were the retrospectives? What did they learn? What would have happened if they didn't have any time to stop, reflect and adjust the process? Or maybe you want to dig into flow, that highly enjoyable state where you're really productive and feel pretty great. Which iterations stood out? And maybe a few questions around collaboration. How did they feel they were working as a team? Did everyone feel like they were heard? Did anyone kind of take charge? And did that change at all during the iterations? And don't forget that very useful follow-up question. Are you ready to try it out? Prepare yourself by buying a big bag of balls. The multicolored plastic ones work a treat. Have the rules already written down and ensure you have a room with plenty of space. The game generally takes around an hour. Works for any size group over five, but if it's a huge one, you might want to split it into more than one team. Get your downloadable instructions and check out other games and tips on theworkshopper.com slash playlist. Good luck.